spontaneous video today for two reasons. One, my best friend Audrey and I are going to Myeongdong, which is a district in Seoul that's really good for shopping and it's just like really fun, very lively, and we want to go to Daiso, which is basically like a giant dollar version of Target. It's dangerous. I'm going to try to not overspend, but no promises. Um, we'll see what we find and end up splurging on because that's basically a guarantee. And so, yeah, I wanted to do a little recording of that. And two, I had a meeting with my dietitian this morning, which was rough. We talked about just a lot of things going on and you know some past stuff that was brought up that you know she believes like there's like an underlying reason a lot of the times for like some of the thoughts feelings fears associated with food and body image and like there definitely are <laughs> um and so just talking about those is always emotional a and b we talked about upping my intake which i saw coming um, I know I'm still in a restrictive mindset and I want to get out of that. And so there was a bit of relief in hearing that I'm supposed to be upping my intake because I'm just like, oh, maybe I can like not feel as like restricted in like going out to eat with friends or being spontaneous or whatever. But then like <laughs> morning snack hit. And the reality of that kind of sunk in and I started getting so much anxiety around what I should eat because I was like, okay, like, well, this doesn't have enough protein or I already had this, so I don't want like something along the same lines. Like, you know, all those kind of excuses that the eating disorder makes up and rules and nothing just feels adequate or nothing feels good enough. So, yeah, that was, like, causing me lots of anxiety, and so I wanted to record today to both hold myself accountable and to acknowledge, like, some of those thoughts and feelings because I'm sure I'm not alone in them, um, and to sort of force myself into a mindset or at least, like, aim for a mindset today of not basing my next meal based off of the previous one. So a little catch up this morning. I had uh, avocado toast, but I feel like I do that a lot, and I do, but it's good. Um, and this like coffee smoothie that I've been making a lot because it's so good and it just like makes me feel all like happy inside. Um, and then for snack, I had this like chicken thing that I got at the convenience store that I don't really know what it was, but it looked good. So yeah, that's what I ended up having. Um, and yeah, so we'll see what comes up today. Sort of throwing my original meal plan into the wind because I have to increase anyways. So yeah, should be fun. Okay, so we are on. Oh, by the way, this is Audrey. Say hi, Audrey. Hi, I'm Audrey. You've heard her voice in other videos, but we are on our way to Myeongdong, like I mentioned, and we are on the O2 bus. The death bus. Okay. I'm very heavily leaning on the window. Oh, this is us. Now we are going. Okay. I realized I should have pulled that room. Yeah, you could have told me that earlier. Oh, well, that works. Now we are transferring buses. Right now we are in Itaewon, which is the expat district of Seoul. And we stick out less here. We stick out less here. That we is go down true. To that station. Down the station. Down the stairs. Okay. I don't know what else to say. Say something, Audrey. Uh, fun fact, um, when baby octopi are born, they're smaller than a grain of rice. 
Fun fact of the day. Oh, and you can eat live octopi here, and it's insane. Like they like they take it fresh out of the tank, and then they just like chop a piece of it off, and you just like stick it in your mouth. Fortnite. We'll do that sometime. We're gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, see ya in Yangon. Emily, where are we? We're in Yangon. <laughs> Okay, so we're in Myeongdong now. We're in the shopping district. Our plans, hit up Daiso, buy unnecessary things, hit up McDonald's, get some delicious ice cream, and Audrey's gonna get a Big Mac, Ooh, and eventually get some work done, but eh. <laughs> First, like, okay, like the water over your hand, the cream. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I got that on video. <laughs> oh oh, oh, I don't know if I got that on video, but we're here. It's so bad. <laughs> no, it comes with chili peppers, though. Chili peppers! Mozzarella sticks! Okay. In this America! Let's do this thing. We got our food! So I got a affogato, which has like Oreo cookie crumbs, and then vanilla ice cream, and then espresso, and I'm very excited about it. Like, look at this. Ah. Good. Good choice. I love McDonald's. <laughs> oh, there's cheese sticks. Oh, you gotta get that cheese for me. Watch. Amazing. They need these in the States. Look at that cheese. Like, what? That is like movie, like cartoon worthy cheese right there. all the different coffees and like we were smelling them all and like the aesthetic is just like so we're back from our exploration today and body image sucks Eating more is really hard, let's be honest. And like even like with what I'm planning on having, I'm still not going to reach my goal. And it's so stressful. And it's hard because it's like there's school and so like I'm not putting in the mental energy to that even like <laughs> all I can think about is food and like what to eat and what to cook or what to buy and it's like if I spend time cooking food then I'm not spending time working and so I'm just falling behind And I don't know what to do. So yeah, that's sort of where I'm at. 
Like nothing I ate today was even like that triggering. Like the ice cream, like that was like comfortable for me. Like I do that a lot. Um, but my body image is just like, I haven't even like that a lot yet. It's still going down. Yeah. So we'll try to get through dinner. And do the best I can do. That's the most I can do. I really need to get better at this whole like remembering to record thing. But anyways, I didn't feel like cooking, so I ordered food in. Got this nice curry salad thing. It comes with pita bread, which I'm forcing myself to eat. And it's requiring a lot of effort. I'm still doing it. Yep. Added the chicken breast for some more protein in reflection. And since I'm supposed to push it, so. sleepy but you know when you know when food is just really hard and you just feel mentally exhausted and drained and just done yeah that's kind of how I feel like I don't feel like I could sleep I mean maybe I could if I really wanted to but I just feel, I don't even know, I don't have like a strong emotion right now. I just feel like numb, but not numb because I feel like I could cry. Good morning. So I'm ending yesterday's video this morning for a couple of reasons. Um, as you could probably tell from my last little clip, sorry, I'm making tea. That's going to be noisy. Um, so yeah, I'm ending yesterday's video be now because I really needed to take last night and like settle down essentially um, and I guess that's the note I want to end it on is how important friendships can be in recovery when you have the right ones in high school I didn't um, not that I didn't have the right friends like I'm still good friends with my friends from high school and I love them to death but I didn't really have the same level of support and maybe that's age, maturity, me, I don't know. But my friends here do absolutely everything they can to help me and make sure that I'm okay. And it's different when you live together too, because you sort of do become family just because you live together. And that's sort of the reality of it. But. Yeah, so I was definitely going down the dark little rabbit hole of intrusive thoughts and ED thoughts. And so when my friends came in and just sat with me and gave me really long hugs, and uh, one of my professors, who's actually pretty much my friend, FaceTimed me and just listened. And then we talked through some of my school stuff. And um, it's really scary to reach out and ask for help. And I struggle with that a lot still, but I always find that when I do, it turns out better than I expect. So, 
I challenge everyone to do the same, whether it's sending a text or a phone call or a Facebook post or Snapchat story or knocking on a friend's door, whatever it is, let people surprise you and be pleasantly surprised. Thanks. I'm standing barefoot right on the edge Falling into something major I don't know what it is But my body's feeling much braver And man, maybe it's you And maybe it's me too Maybe